Welcome to another Getting Lost series, exploring, hiking, again, we're here in East Chula Vista, we're going to do another hike, um, I've done this one before, but I thought I'd document it and show you the exact location, so, we're on, uh, Canyon Drive and, uh, kind of behind Bonita Vista High, and, uh, there's some canyons up there and uh, we're going to explore it. I'm going to show you all the uh, beautiful lush scenery here and uh, see if we can get lost. Let's go. So Canyon Drive, I don't know if the sun's blocking it and yeah, if you know where this area is at in East Chula Vista. Right behind Bonita Vista High, uh, close to Southwestern College. Uh, there's a church there. There's some nice neighborhoods here. And then right here, right in my own backyard, kinda, is some more hiking trails. City of Chula Vista, see right there. And then you climb up here. And yeah, there's a lot of, you know, scenery rivers and streams there's uh backyards of houses here power lines and let me turn on my strava right here there we go okay almost always forget to turn on my recording app for walking or biking. Getting pretty high up. There's a trail over there too. But I think that leads to the main road. So that's another entrance. You won't worry about that. It's a perfect day today. Here in East Chula Vista. Again, there's quite a bit of trails here in this part of town that once ago man has made made them and there's several different pathways here dead in there Go check this out here. Power lines. There's all kinds of power lines that run through East Chula Vista, especially near Mother Mount San Miguel. And uh, we could have either went that way or this way. I don't know if I've been this way, so let's go this way. Right there, Mother Mount, San Miguel in the distance. Beautiful. And in some other videos, I've hiked over there. Not too long ago. But here. So if you enjoyed that, uh, four part series of Dictionary Hill. Now for me, that was a life changing uh, day, life changing trip. I mean, nothing can top that. But here, in my home, current hometown, Chula Vista, 
I don't, yeah, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if anything can top the, uh, the, uh, sp spiritual awakening. The, uh, the nature, the vibes of the Dictionary Hill series. That's def, I'm definitely coming back again and again to Dictionary Hill and, of course, Mount Helix. But, this is the kind of scenery you were dealing with here. Again, uh, close to some neighborhoods in the back of backyards. There's always some youngins tagging stuff here. Fences. So up ahead, there's uh, another street. And if I remember correctly, cross the street and the trails continue. Got my hydration drink, you know how I do here, look with death. Um, let me take a sip first. So no doubt this trail is for the uh, novice hiker or intermediate hiker. But I'm pretty sure it's also for the uh, school kids that want to take a shortcut home here from Bonita Vista or um, Bonita Middle across the street. Definitely a great shortcut. See, there's that street we were on the corner, but a little bit down there. We just hiked up it a little bit upwards. And then we're gonna continue here. So very nice neighborhoods. And then the trail continues, which is great. And then down here, I don't know if you can see in the distance. Can't zoom in right now, but there's way more trails up there. So there's like a creek down here, I think. There's quite a bit of wildlife here. Not too much. But not even like miles from civilization you were to get nature I mean there's shopping shopping center nearby there's a nice backyard that I don't want to film too much of I mean the backyard's right in the open like isn't that kind of creepy though Probably people that come here, not too often, but I don't know. I would have my fence, not a not a glass fence or a plexi plexiglass fence. I would have my backyard private. That's just me. Some more of a trail over there. We might go back up that. I don't know. See what happens. Let's go down here. Because I already know where this leads to. So you definitely can get your hike in here. Your exercise. And there's several different entrances and pathways. So yeah, bring your dog, or not. We're gonna check out this. We'll go down there though. This might be a dead end though. Oh, it leads into a neighborhood. So there's some stairs here that lead into a neighborhood. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a that's a neighborhood. Like a cul-de-sac. Okay. Yeah, but I believe one point in time there was a bulldozer or a some kind of construction vehicle that kind of plowed through here, seems like, and made these trails for people. This is the uh, kind of scenery we're dealing with here. Neighborhoods and in between those neighborhoods, power lines and trails for people to walk off. And uh, yeah. Again, I'll throw the address in the description for anybody who wants to walk in these uh, trails here in East Chula Vista, my hometown. Go on a warm day. Not a hot day. It's warming up though. So you don't sweat too much. Bring plenty of water. But we're not far from civiliz civilization and stuff like that. So easy, easily accessible to neighborhoods if you need help. And uh, yeah, so we're going down here. So once we made it down here, there's this creek or this river that runs through here. Some kind of like small waterfall and stuff. It's pretty nice. Let's see if we could take a closer look here. See water that just runs through here. And these uh, chicken fence wire that covers these rocks. Okay. There's water here and stuff. I don't know why I didn't film this the last time, but that was before I got lost. And we continue up there. And I think there's a couple different ways we can go. <clears throat> Not wearing the right shoes, but. Kind of got caught there. We're good though. Make sure I didn't ruin my sh shirt. All right, we're good. But let's take a look over here where the water goes through. So like I said, kind of a little mini waterfall. There's a bigger waterfall over here stream of water and water that goes through there All right, let's uh, cross this uh, little river. So we're gonna have to hop. Use your best hopping. There we go. 
I think my chain might have hit the uh, my phone here. So if you hear a loud thump when you're watching this, that's what it was. Right. So made it across there. Nice little small waterfall there. Let's see what's over here. And now there's a paved road. And I don't remember where I went last time. I don't know if I went that way or if I went that way. I think I went that way. But yeah, you have all these options here. Let's uh, take a look over here. Here, if you want to go through here at night, uh, that might be a little sketchy. But, uh, I don't know, might be, go with somebody if you're coming here through, uh, coming here through at night, coming through here at night. Because, uh, Dictionary Hill, I would definitely not go through through there at night. We're not we're not even allowed to. But here you might be able to get away with some stuff. If you're with a group of friends. So just leads in a big circle here. Again, there's so many interesting paths here you can take. Let's just uh, see if we can head across here and not get our feet wet. But I think the last time I went up there and uh, there's even more trails. And there's like bees over here, so. <laughs> Guess as long as I don't <laughs> bother them. We're good and kind of like a cul-de-sac. Was this a road once before? I'm not sure. And there's even a, there are so many trails here. We can even take this route here. And uh, that will take us to some other places. But, uh, I don't know. Where should we go? That way? That way? Or up there? Up there? I know because I've taken that route. Here, it could lead us into some other neighborhoods. But hey, it's all about the journey and the destination it is only at the end. I mean, we can go through here, but let's get lost. Fuck it. So we're going through here and uh, let's get lost because that's what this whole series is about. Getting lost in East Chula Vista, let's do it. <laughs> so after I pass that, flower field with all those bees here's what I'm here's what I'm dealing with so maybe in another video we can go down that way I don't know let me know but let's see where this trail leads to I don't want to walk more than like a couple hours because some video, some getting lost uh, 
videos already. I was actually lost and I've been walking for like hours. And for me, a good hour walk is, that's it. It says trail closed. But how long has this trail been closed? <laughs> and how long have people been walking on it? You know what I mean? Well, there's a little bit of a fence up here. But you know, people have been walking on here, so we might as well. We might as well go exploring in it. So, I'll get back to you. See what's on the other side over there. Okay. There's several signs that say trail closed. But here I am. Disobeying, disobeying, disobeying orders, disobeying law. You know, we're just gonna take this, and uh, if we have enough footage for a good 30 minute video, I think that's what it, that, that'll do it. And we're almost there actually, to making a good, Good content. Again, I don't make this video too long because then, I mean, the dictionary healed them. That one had to be a four-parter, but that's some that's some good content right there, in my opinion. Here, maybe 30 minutes tops. I think 27 minutes is good enough. But let's enjoy the scenery here. Oh yeah, people have already been here. Even though the trail is closed, I can see footprints. And uh, there's definitely been some mountain bikers. Let's see how big of a drop this is. That's a big drop. You don't want to fall in there. If they do open up this trail again, they should put a fence over there. But this is pretty cool. I've never been here. So part of this trail video, this getting lost video is, is familiar and part of it is new, like this part here. So we have all these lush vegetation and uh, you can hear birds. Tripping. Some more neighborhoods and houses off in the distance, in both directions, all directions. I don't know, it's crazy how there's all this wildlife. here and uh, I'm glad they didn't build any more houses in between it or neighborhoods so I know when you come to East Chula Vista you think of new housing development and stuff this neighborhood is fairly uh, fairly old 
the neighborhood across Bonita, Bonita Vista High School and the neighborhood across Southwestern College. This whole area, it's not a new neighborhood like uh, East Lake, some Otay Ranch neighborhoods and stuff. So, there's that. Little cacti right there. You don't want to get caught in that. So it looks like a good, decent mountain bike trail. Although unoffic unofficially uh, unofficially not open and it's closed. But here we are. So there's been like every every hundred feet or so there's signs that say trail closed but uh just like in the dictionary hill video we're gonna disregard that and uh take a risk here but if these uh Trail close signs have been here for years already, maybe. I guess you're not supposed to, nobody has really been on here for a while. So, pretty cool. Let's keep on going. That might do it for this video of getting lost here in East Chula Vista. So we did a pretty good, in my opinion, I did a pretty good walking. Let me see how much mileage so far. Only 1.4 miles, but getting over there and then going around back to my vehicle, that's already at least two and a half miles. So I'm pretty proud and pretty stoked about that. But yeah, let's continue capturing the scenery here. It wasn't too bad. Like I said, I did go through a whole field of bees. So it was pretty, pretty risky though. But you know, don't mind me. And uh, yeah, again, buy some like insect repellent and stuff. And, and some of that uh, anti-itch lotion. <laughs> because uh, you might be scratching for a while if you're sensitive to some of this wildlife. Let's check this out here. This, these bushes, trees, these bushes that cover, it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, we could have, from that uh, waterfall, that little mini creek there, we could have went left, we could have went straight, and we could have went right. We went right. If we would have, if we would have gone straight, we would have gone up a little bit, and uh, ended up by. I think we would have ended up by that church, that modern day Catholic church up there. Forgot the name of it, Corpus Christi or something like that, church. And uh, I don't remember exactly, but somewhere over there. But here it's cool too. And then if we wouldn't let, went left, I think we might have ended up in that neighborhood where I indeed get, got lost on the first getting lost video. But this is the end of the trail. 
I'm pretty stoked, pretty excited that uh, I got to explore some someplace new. I mean, the, the area is familiar to me when you're driving, but when you're walking here through these canyons, these trails, these, uh, the scenery, it's a whole new life out here in East Chula Vista. So, follow me on Instagram at 50 ways to leave your drummer and at 50 ways to leave your drummer. I'll post uh, my stories there and uh, some little extra videos pertaining to this one. But then I'll throw the I'll throw the handle, my Instagram handles in the description. So you don't have to type it in. Or maybe you do, I don't know. And uh, we'll get up there and I'll head back to my vehicle. Definitely have to take a long cut back. And yeah, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Watch my four part series on Dictionary Hill, uh, Getting Lost in Dictionary Hill again. And uh, if you want to come here, I'll throw the uh, address in the description or close to it. So you can find this place and get lost. And I do believe that's East H Street. And uh, yeah, gotta make up my long way back to my vehicle up there. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video.